what is headless WordPress and why should you care? This is what we are going to talk about today. In the most basic sense, headless WordPress or using WordPress as a headless CMS, it's WordPress on steroids. And on a more serious note, it means leveraging the backend and the API of WordPress to build a separate front end for a website. Okay, let me explain this in a little bit more detail. In general, we have two types of architecture, monolithic and decoupled or microservices as it's also called, but I'm not going to go in that much detail now. By default, WordPress is a monolith, and that means that the backend of the website and the frontend of the website and the database and everything, it's all in the same bucket. A decoupled or microservices architecture means having the frontend, the backend, the database and everything all in separate buckets and communicating with each other through an API. So again, using WordPress as a headless CMS means decoupling the frontend of the website from the backend of the WordPress. And usually doing this adds another layer of complexity to the website. Well, in a sense, basically it makes it two websites. You will have to have two separate domains, two separate hosting accounts and so on and so forth. Or you could go with the same hosting, putting the backend on a subdomain. For example, for example, yourwebsite.com would be the frontend and api.yourwebsite.com would be the backend. But why would you do this? One of the main reasons to do this is twofold. First, developers can work with the front-end technology they love. And by that, I mean they can use whatever flavor of the gem stack that they want. And on the other hand, and on the other hand, marketers or content people, let's call them that, can use the same interface and the same dashboard that they are used to. They don't have to learn another CMS or another dashboard or another app from zero. If you decouple the monolithic version of WordPress, you can use whatever technology you want on the front end. And this gives you a lot of flexibility. It doesn't tie you down to doing things the WordPress way. And especially it doesn't limit you by a poorly coded or developed team. While you will lose all the basic WordPress and default WordPress functionality, like the template tags, like the title function and so on and so forth, you will gain a lot of flexibility in doing things the way you want. You can build with React and Next.js, you can build with Vue or Angular, or you can build even with Flutter if you fancy. And I think I've already said it like a thousand times or whatever in this video, you gain a lot of flexibility. Also, that means you will be able to use modern development and deployment workflows. So you can say goodbye to cowboy editing on a live WordPress website. And there's also the obvious advantage for marketing teams. They know WordPress, they like WordPress, they know how it works, and they also have more important things to do than learning yet another CMS or another publishing platform. So in a sense, we can say that using WordPress as a headless CMS, it's a great win-win for both developers and marketers. Another reason to go with headless WordPress is that you will gain an amazing SEO advantage. People like React or these modern front-end frameworks because they are fast and they can provide a good user experience or UX. If you've been using a good React or Vue app with the emphasis on good, you know it can be really fast and really easy to work with. And with great speed and great UX or user experience comes great core web vital score. That's where the great SEO advantage comes from. Let's take, for example, two online stores. Well, a lot of online stores sell shoes. Like for example, blue suede shoes. What website do you think Google will rank higher? A monolithic website, maybe built with WooCommerce or Magento or whatever CMS designed for building e-commerce websites, or a fast decoupled website that provides great UX and great speed to the users. This one is an easy guess, it's the second. And the fun thing is that the other website can also be built upon WooCommerce or Magento or another CMS for online stores. But besides the great SEO advantage, you will get an unlimited development potential. Why is that? What do I mean by that? Because as I've said earlier a thousand times, even in past videos, you are no longer limited by a specific set of technologies, at least not on the front end. You have the API to fit into whatever app you want. 
And that means you can develop a website with whatever front-end technology you want using headless WordPress. And this is the most basic example of what you can do. Or you could develop a fancy web app for admin purposes, maybe for a big news website or for an e-commerce store. Or you could build a specific backend for a membership website. Or this one is my favorite. You could build mobile apps on top of WordPress. And WooCommerce benefits the most from this, in my opinion. Imagine starting an online store, growing it, having tons of customers. And then you want to develop your business further. You may want to build a mobile app. Guess what? If you've been using WooCommerce all along, you already have all the backend done for you. You have user registration, you have ordering, invoicing, scheduling, sales, and so many other things. And you can leverage all of this backend functionality in the mobile app. Maybe what I've said now, it's an oversimplification, and it actually is, but you get the idea. Half of the work, I mean, maybe almost half of the work is already been done for you. So if you leverage headless WordPress, you can have a website, a membership portal, an admin dashboard, a mobile app. And if you really want to be everywhere, you can even build TV and smartwatch apps, all built on the same backend that is using WordPress. Okay, but what tools can you use to build something with headless WordPress? I will start with the tools specific to WordPress and then go less specific. The first one would be Frontity. This is a React framework built specifically for WordPress. It has a direct integration with how the WordPress API works. In a sense, it's basically plug and play. Also, it has server-side rendering so you don't get the SEO drawbacks that a regular React app has. It works similar to how Next.js does. And then we have Gatsby, which is a static site generator. And when I've said that, you might have already guessed the limitation. It's not generating a dynamic website like Frontity or Next.js or even the vanilla WordPress. All the pages and all the routes are generated at build time. And that means that the best use for Gatsby are smaller websites or websites that don't get content updates so much. Building a 10,000 pages website every 30 minutes, it's gonna cost a lot. Or you can go with whatever technology you want, especially if you build a mobile app or if you build an IoT app. You can go with Vue, Angular, Next.js, you can go with Flutter or React Native for mobile apps, you can do basically whatever you want. This is the beauty of headless WordPress, a familiar backend and a powerful frontend. Anyway, this was all for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to get even more videos like this one. Have a great day.